Um, I play a guy who works for Interpol who's completely obsessed with trying to bring down this huge bank which he believes to be totally corrupt and literally travel the whole world in pursuit of this bank. It's a fictional bank. It's the, it's the world's, you know, it's, it's, it's the third biggest bank in the world. And we believe they're involved in all sorts of inappropriate activities, you know, money laundering, uh, you know, buying arms, com in, in, involved in conflicts around the world. And it's, it's, it's about me and Naomi Watts' character, who's a DA in New York, trying to pursue this bank and, and bring them to justice. Well, weirdly, you know, Eric started to write the script five, six years ago. We finished shooting a year and a half ago. It's only in the last year it's become incredibly timely. Like, you know, some of the questions that the film poses are, you know, can you trust the bank? Are they totally sound institutions? Do they use people's money appropriately? And they've become the big questions that people have been asking for the last few months. Yes, it was about. It was a. Very, he's a very fallible human being. You know, he's a guy whose obsession is at the cost of everything else in his life. And it it was very important not to be. He's not a typical sort of heroic leading man in that way. He's much more. You know, he's got m much more weaknesses than that. But there is something heroic about him in terms of how far he's prepared to go in pursuit of this huge corporation. It took a long time as well, and it bled the, the the whole thing bled through the whole shoot because we we shot in three stages. They did an exact replica to scale of the Guggenheim in Berlin, so we shot in that for a few weeks. Then they built a whole set of just the ground floor lobby area, which we shot in, and then at the end of the movie we got in the real place. So it felt like that scene was an ever present in in the making of the film. Well, the only place I hadn't been before was Istanbul, and that was pretty incredible. And we found just incredible locations within these places. So it's one thing to go to Istanbul, but then to be on the roofs of the Grand Bazaar, which I don't think anyone had ever filmed on before, which is this incredible series of walkways on the, on, on the roofs there with a mosque framed on either end. And to go to New York and shoot, you know, on the streets and in the Guggenheim Museum, which is this, you know, one of the most iconic buildings in the world, it was pretty incredible. You always feel very supported as an actor when you're shooting in great locations. It was great. I mean, I've known her on and off for quite a long time, and we've nearly worked together a few times. She's great. I mean, she's not only a great actress, she's a really, really lovely girl, and, uh, and it, was a, it was really great working with her. I'm a huge fan of his. I, I really rate him highly. Um, I've loved every film he's done, and uh, and he's he's a very rare director in that he's on top of every single aspect of making movies. Like he is, he's a complete sort of workaholic. Most great directors are, but um, he, he's just got a grip on every single aspect of putting a film together. I think that was the inspiration, yeah, from a bank from the 70s. But, um, and, and Eric Singer would argue that everything in the movie, however far-fetched some of it might appear, is all completely based on an incident that really did happen. And, um, but ultimately, it's a, it's a fictional account. Yeah, I think it's I, the thing that the reason I wanted to do it is because it felt like it was inspired by those brilliant '70s political thrillers where they're really well researched, they're well informed, they're intelligently written, but they're big sweeping entertainments. You know, they're like we travel the world, we have a 40-minute shootout and trash the Guggenheim Museum in New York, and and it's just marrying those two together, and I think that all that makes for a very exciting movie.